course, the answer to many questions in spiritual life is Kripa. Many questions are answered like this, only by Kripa. So that's a fact. I was just seeing the same point, and Rupa Goswami is quoting from the Puranas, from Vayu Puran, excuse me, from Adi Varaha Puran. He's quoting a very nice verse, and he says that without the mercy of Krishna or Vishnu, Vishnu means Krishna, Krishna, without the mercy of Krishna, no one can live in Vrindavan for one moment. Vina Vishnu Prasadena. That's pretty simple. Prasad. Vina means without. Vina. Vina Vishnu Prasadena. Shanam Ekam Natishtati. Matura Mandalame. Matura Mandalame. Vina Vishnu Prasadena. Shanam. Shanam Ekam Natishtati. Tishtati means stan. Tishtan means to stay or to be fixed or to live or to reside. And shana, K-S-H-A, shana, shana, shana means a moment. One can't live a moment in Brajada without the mercy of Krishna. Resonant, and it goes on, resonance in Vrindavan is never attained. You can never attain resonance. This is, this is how, how do you get residents in Vrindavan to do bhajan by the mercy of Krishna. And and there's no other way. Residents in Vrindavan, it says in Puran, can never be attained by punya, not by punya, not by tap, not by jap, not by gyan, not by yagyas. None of these practices, although very purifying, as you said earlier, how to become purified, they're very purifying rituals, rites, and sadhanas and practices, no doubt. And they're very elevating and spiritually enriching. But they're not sufficient to get resonance in Vrindavan. However, if one is favored by Sri Krishna, he can attain resonance in Vrindavan. Sri Vishnu Kripaya Nunam Tatra Vaso Bhavishyati Tatra Vaso Bhavishyati. Bhavishyati. He can, Bhavishyati, he can attain that state of Vas. Tatra means there, Brajamandal. Tatra means there, and Brajamandal. If he's favored, gets the Kripa. So it's Prasad and Kripa. This is Matura Matvim, verse 82 and 83. So it's all a matter of mercy.